Welcome to Toronto's. Greetings. Today we'll be setting up switches with the Taranis using APM 2.6 and Mission Planner. But before we do that, you want to familiarize yourself with the switches on your Taranis. You're going to find out what's comfortable for you. And we're going to set up two basic functions. Firstly, the RTL and your flight modes. We like to personally use this switch for RTL. Write that down. SF switch. It's a two position switch that you use to take your aircraft back home when you flip out. So you flip this switch and it's going to come back to you. Okay. Next, for flight modes, we like to use the SG switch that has three positions. So three position flight modes. And then we're going to later on mix it with the SD switch. Another three position switches for another three flight modes. So, but for today, we're going to just do two basic switches and your four channels. And we're going to do a radio calibration with your radio sticks. So before we do that, let's go to the beach for a few seconds. Welcome to Toronto's. Welcome back. So this is the main view of the Taranis, uh, the menu button is on the left, select that and you're going to be able to create a new mode. The minus and plus key is basically the uh, arrow up and down key and the enter key is used a lot for selecting as far as to tell me what are the options. So I just created a new lost. model and let's use the page view to look at the different pages of settings. So. Uh, can give a name for this model, we're just going to call it ABC. Enter. Page. We're going to look for the page where we set up the channels. So I believe it's on this page right here. And if you notice, the uh, channels are already preset for f for a new model, but you you will also notice that it's on the wrong sequence for APM. So what we need to do is edit and change those channels to match the APM channels. So this is an important step to do before you do any radio calibration. And uh, for this case, channel one is aileron, channel two is elevator, channel three is throttle and channel 4 is rudder. So again, if you hold down the enter key for one second, you get the list of options and select edit. Lastly, channel 4 will be rather and it stays the same. We now set up channel 5 for flight mode as defined by the APM. We had earlier decided that the switch that we would like to use personally is the SG switch. So for this example, we're going to switch it to SG for flight modes. The channel 5 switch basically allows you to change your flight mode. For example, you would like to fly in loiter, altitude hold, or circle around, or return to launch again, you could set that up using channel 5. And finally, the flip out switch, which is channel 7. This will be the switch that you use to return to launch. Uh, you could actually use channel 7 for a few other options, but we like a switch that we could designate to take your aircraft back when you are in a panic or if you have uh, lost orientation or just want to come back by autopilot you want to flip one switch and 
takes you back. Just to recap, we set up channel 1, 2, 3, 4, channel 5, channel 7. And with that, we have completed our basic channel setup. Now we can begin to calibrate your radio sticks. First, you need to make sure your APM is connected to your mission planner. And you turn on the transmitter. You will begin to move all your sticks to the extreme position, for example. Move it to the all four corners of the trotter stick and your stick. And do that. And then move your ailerons and your rudder. Next, test out all your switches. It's your flip out switch again. And then we flight test mode. the flight modes, three positions. Bring your throttle to the lowest point and then click complete and you are done. Now another exciting part, we're gonna run some tests on the flight switches. So this will determine the flight modes for all the three positions. You can pretty much assign any flight modes to all the positions um, but uh, with some limitation of course uh, it is recommended that you assign position 1 with stabilize mode um, other than that the rest you could for example we would assign loiter to the second position and then land on the third position lastly we test the return to launch switch RTL RTL on overrides all flight modes. RTL off, it returns back to the last flight mode. This completes our lesson, and we hope that this has been useful. Have a good day. What do you like to do at the beach? I just want to play in the. I just want to go in the water. You want to go in the water?